Hey, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. I'm glad you could be here with me today. I want to talk about something that I do enjoy. In fact, I have it as a snack. I've been known to have it for breakfast, and it's really good. Um, what I want to talk about is cream cheese. Now, you can go to Walmart. You may be able to go to an Aldi or some store like that. But based on what I have here at Walmart, you can go and get an 8-ounce tub container of whipped cream cheese spread for $2.12. Now, that is pretty good considering what you would pay for the price of um, Philadelphia cream cheese, which is twice as much and maybe a little more. One of the things you can do with cream cheese is it's a blank canvas. You can add cinnamon to it. You can do pumpkin pie spice. You can do chives, maple walnut. That came as a suggestion from a friend. You could put chopped up nuts in with it. You could do chopped up nuts by itself. So you could put fruit in it too. Uh, again, the sky's a limit. You can go just about anywhere with cream cheese. Uh, you know, of course, you can also use it to, even though I'm primarily harping on what you can put in the cream cheese, you know, to, um, you know, change it up. I guess you could also put chocolate powder in it. I guess if you want to give it like a chocolate feel, I've never done that. But I guess when it comes to a cream cheese, you could also change it up in a way that, let's say you're about to create a cheesecake. Well, this is one of the main ingredients that you need. So you are able to go and doctor it up, change it, make it how you like, um, flavor it like you like, you know, you can, it's a wonderful thing. And what I like to do with the cream cheese, when I make my own different varieties with it, I also like to get bagels. Now, when I get bagels, I either get Lenders brand or Thomas brand. I need to try Pepperidge Farm. I haven't tried that one yet, although I've heard good things about it. But you can't go wrong with Pepperidge Farm either. And what I'll do is I'll take my bread, bagel, whatever the case may be, and I'll put it in my air fryer for about three minutes, give or take, and it'll toast it up rather nicely. I don't always have to go to a toaster, you know, to modify and toast it and make it the way I want. I can just as easily stick it in my air fryer and go that route. But bottom line, what I'm driving at here is when it comes to cream cheese, for those that do like it and those that do use it, um, the sky's the limit because you can make it and you can go up or down with it in whatever sense of the word that you want to um, go with. And if you've never done it, I certainly highly recommend giving it a try and see how you like it. And I think you will. I know I do. Well, anyway, I'm glad that um, you could stop by and watch this video with me. But I was wondering if you guys could do me one big favor, it would be great. I would certainly appreciate it if you would like my content, subscribe, because I am trying to build my subscriber count to hit the 1,000. Right now, I'm currently at roughly the two-thirds mark. So if you are not subscribed, please feel free to do so. Anyway, I hope all of you have a great whatever rest of day that you're having. and. I'll see you back here next time.
Bye.